So customizing keyboard shortcuts is basically a way if you don't like some of the shortcut keys to activate a command here on the ribbon or even the macros. If you watch the macros training video, you can actually reassign the shortcut keys. So to go ahead and reassign them, come up here, right click anywhere on the ribbon, go down to customize the ribbon. And it's right there, keyboard shortcuts, customize. Click on it. And over the left hand side, it got a bunch of categories like the file tab. And on the file tab over here, you have a bunch of commands. You can scroll down and find one that you would like, like file to open or open a file. Ooh, it's got quite a few keys that are assigned to it already, like Control F12, Alt Control F2. How about if I add my own, like Alt Q? And then you can see down below it's currently unassigned. So if I want to assign it in addition to these current keys, OK. Let's click Assign, adds it over there. Cool. And not only can you do it to the tabs here, but also let's go down to the macros. There you go. I only have one. Hi. You can go ahead and with it selected, click in the new shortcut key and press any combination of keys like Alt Q. No, it says it's currently assigned to file open. Oh, rats. So you can go ahead and hit the delete key, but when I do that, it wants to add it. So don't select it and hit the delete because it thinks that you're assigning that in addition to it. So you can select it and hit the backspace a couple of times and then it gets rid of it. And if I want to use Q but Alt Q is already assigned, how about Alt Shift Q? It's currently unassigned. All right, let's go ahead and assign it to the macro here. Or if I want to, I can go ahead and select it and remove it and then close out. Click Okie Dokie. Let's do the Alt-Q to see if it opens up the open window. Alt-Q. Hey, it opened it up. Isn't that fun? Let's go ahead and click Cancel. And let's come back up here. Right-click anywhere on the ribbon to customize the ribbon. It looked like I was going to customize the Quick Access Toolbar, wasn't I? Well, in any case, even if you were on the Quick Access Toolbar, it's not down below there. You have to go to Customize the Ribbon, so you can customize it there. And you get the last option to reset all. So any customizations you made, click on it. Are you sure you want to reset? Because this action will remove all keys currently assigned to the macros and styles in the normal dot, well, global template. Yes, it's toast. So let's see if it's true. On the File tab, remember File to Open. Select it. It got rid of my Alt Q. Oh, that's all right. I've got a couple others I can use. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.